This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, December 17th, through this coming Sunday, December 23rd, 2018. Our highlights this week are Friday the 21st for the winter solstice, and then one day later we have the full moon in Cancer, bringing our lunar year to a close. The solstice is about unity and letting go of differences. It's about forgiveness and finally letting go of the illusion we are separate from our divine source. As spiritual beings, we are a collective and our energy is intertwining. So it's time to clear up that energy with the knowledge that we are all one, only one, one beautiful, amazing, ebbing and flowing field of divine light. Our participation in this one light is the exchange of unconditional love that benefits all. So breathing into your undeniable divine source that you share with everyone on this beautiful planet, everyone in this beautiful universe and most likely beyond, and everyone in all directions of time. This gives you your core, your foundation, your ability to raise your vibration and your own, your energy. You are amazing. You are whole, perfect, and complete. And this is what you are infusing into the collective field of divine light. Thank you. <laughs> you know, and this may seem like new territory to us, but actually it is a return to our divine source being energy. All the 3D drama and goofiness took away our attention from what is important and what has value no matter what. And then next, one day into the winter solstice energy, we have the full moon in Cancer which will provide the perfect platform for you to contemplate your personal and emotional needs. So pay attention to your body. Pay attention to your emotions. Pay attention to your inner life. And expand it out and contemplate your needs for relationship in your life, for a home base and comfort, for a way to connect with and nurture yourself and those you care about. You are seeking to understand how you need to meet your personal needs so that you can be available for all the other things that fill your life. And you know, the sun will be in Capricorn. So this is going to give you the information and the the inspiration to contemplate where you have been, where you came from, that ancestral heritage and how you wish to move forward to establish the ancestry of your future generations, what they will be accessing, what you're leaving, that imprint that you're creating. You are creating energy in many directions, and your thoughts and actions count. And realize you can't get it wrong. <laughs> so don't pressure yourself. Instead, relax into a deep connection with what makes you happy. This combines with the energy of the holidays. So separate out the holiday stressors and go within to connect to what really matters to you. What matters in your life for your highest happiness. And as we progress through December and the energy of closing this year and readying for next year, Please take advantage of getting a reading. Gift certificates are on, are on sale, and you can treat yourself to a discounted reading with those. And with a reading, we can address exactly what you need to for your absolute progress ahead and to the future you wish to enjoy. Get your answers, get your clarity, and get your direction. All the information for your reading is on my website, spiritpathways.net and here we go let's see what we got this week 
Nice. All right, I'm going to lay these out, and then I'm going to go over each one to give you a complete reading. Oh, wow. For the energy of this week and how you can use it to your best advantage. Look at the pages. Three pages. Um, pages to me are messengers. They're messengers about what's coming. <laughs> so here, of course, with the Cancer Full Moon, we're starting with the Page of Cups. Beautiful Page of Cups, which reminds you to love yourself. To love yourself and to allow fresh emotional beginnings. That it can include a new relationship, and this is very much the energy of renewal after any difficulties, and it's births. Physical births, also emotional births, births of new attitudes, birthing what you want to now start creating in your life. And the, the Page of Cups to me is also a bit about, you know, nurturing and a little bit of fragility. So take care of yourself. Use this Cancer New Moon energy to nurture yourself. And this fish here in the cup, that's creativity. So what's in your imagination? What is it that you want to give birth to and create now? Use this, allow this creativity to bring you the things you want. And this, the waves, they're just ebbing and flowing. Nice emotional balance there. So the message of your emotional connections. And then realizing in your life that you have a lot of opportunities. That things are being offered to you. It's just not one or two things. You've got a lot to choose from, even if you don't realize it. And this is like a big buffet. All these things are delicious and you should try them. <laughs> Just take a bite and see how it tastes and feels for you. And then you can hone in on one or two, but it's about trying these opportunities, expanding this energy to give you new, fresh ideas and experiences. It's all available to you. So reaching out and enjoying that. And then the Knight of um, Wands, he's about movement. <clears throat> change. Um, so if you want to move house, this is the card that's telling you, yes, start making plans for that. If you want to change jobs, yes. The knight is on a quest. He's on a quest for positive change. Making the changes that are going to get you more in alignment with the things, these little sprouts, the things that you want to start growing in your life. With the uh, Page of Cups and all these opportunities, the Knight is, says no more staying in one place. No more stagnant energy. No more sitting and maybe just thinking about things. This is about taking off and taking you know, action on things. Wands are fire. It's taking action. And the pyramids to me are reminding you that you are spiritually protected. You're not going to get it wrong. If it's in your head and you can think of it, it's something you can experience. We're not given just random thoughts that don't mean anything. So again, more of this moving along. Here are your choices. This says forge a new path. <laughs> Leave behind the things that these empty cups. Leave behind the things that you've tried, that you no longer, you know, are getting any goodness from that. You don't need to keep trying to eke goodness out of that. Instead, turn and pivot and forge this new path. Go in a new direction. Because the new direction gives you the emotional and the taking action and the inspired change and all these opportunities. Don't keep trying to do something that's not giving you the goodness that you want. So moving ahead, and then now our beautiful page of pentacles. <sighs> pentacles are health and money. So this is improved finances. This is the message of improved health. And page, uh, this page is starting out growth for long-term stability. So you're putting in place the things that are going to give you the outcomes that you want. This is slow and steady manifestation of your ideas and your vision. And this is jobs and ideas that are going to grow. The page is the messenger to tell you that pinnacles are going to grow. Here, your cups, your emotions were going to grow. 
you got your Page of Wands, that's your inspiration. But here, the Page of Pentacles, improved finances, improved health, working your way up to success, things developing, advancement. So that means nurture and take care of those ideas and those dreams because they're leading you where you want to go. They're going to give you the money you want. They're going to give you the success you want, the health you want. All of that's that's this message. <laughs> Pages, messengers, the message. And now the page of wands is about inspiration and the fresh start and tapping into your potential and beginning your creative process. He's very focused on the little sprouts, completely focused on what he wants to grow, what he wants to experience. So allow this beginning of your creative process to grow. Allow the inspiration to give you the answers that you need to move forward. And be lighthearted. The Page of Wands says don't forget your humor. Be lighthearted. Never dense or heavy because that will crush inspiration. That will just mash it down and nothing will happen. So laugh. Tap into the humor and the wit. That's very important. Um, this is the message to move forward with your ideas and creative movement. You've got the Knight of Wands right above it. He's on the creative quest. And then these pages, perfect, beautiful energy, I feel, for the end of the year. For the messengers of what's to come. Looking forward. This card reminds you that you do what you do well. You, This is a craftsman and he's being admired by his clients. And they're holding the plans that he's creating. He's an artist and he's creating all this goodness. Three is expansion. We've got two threes here. And I tell you, three is the number for next year, 2019. If you add that together, it reduces to a three. Three is expansion. It's new things happening. And this card is telling you that that expansion is happening now. And pay attention to what artistry you really enjoy because that's where you will bloom and blossom. All the goodness will come for you. And the Three of Swords says you've got to give up on the things that have ended. You've got to move forward from the things that are done. This, the Three Swords and the Heart, that is about... You can't resurrect it. It's done. It's finished. There's little storm clouds behind. When we try and resurrect the things that are done, we just get the storminess. And that's not what you want to experience. So for your three, for your expansion, don't try and go backwards. Don't try and resurrect something from the past, either a situation, a circumstance, a core belief, a habit, a pattern, a person. Those things aren't forward for you. They're backwards. They're they're in your past and that's fine and wonderful. Leave them there. But moving forward, you need all this new energy. All this goodness energy. And then strength. Beautiful compassion. This is to me winter solstice energy here. She's petting and loving this lion. He represents um, her challenges and she's tamed him with compassion. With the we're all one the infinity symbol, I'm divinely connected, I'm part of that divine source, we're all one, you're never going to be given anything you can't handle, you're very, very strong, so use your strength in loving, compassionate ways. Power is something that's, it's important how you use it and that you don't abuse it. Power needs to be compassionate. So as you are compassionate, that strength will bring you the results that you want will bring you all the you know solving those challenges all the c compassion and forgiveness and divine connection that is yours that you can't lose paying attention so i would love to give you a reading i would love to get on your blueprint and tune into your spirit guides and give you all the answers and connection Oh, and wisdom to move forward and create your happiest life. So all the information for readings is on my website. And gift certificates are on sale right now. So you can gift yourself with a reading. And 
Have a wonderful, wonderful week. I will see you next week. Happy winter solstice. Happy full moon. Bye-bye.